Hello and welcome again to Scrubber's Movie Collection. Uh, this suit arrived with us today from our good friend Tom. Uh, very nice Dionysi suit, eBay purchased by Tom. A uh, little bit grubby down the arms, as you can see down here. Uh, overall the suit is in decent condition. Uh, it's uh, The previous owners obviously had a little bit of a off, uh, well, did we know he had a track excursion uh, down the right hand side of the suit? So you can see the damage and a bit of grubbiness down the right and the scarring. Um, so some of the scarring we'll get off in our initial clean phase, uh, and then we'll show you the recolouring. We'll show you after the clean as well. You can see how grubby it is around here. Uh, but also, I think what Tom hasn't noticed uh, is the top stitching has been worn through just here. You can see it just disappears and it's just a series of holes. You can't see the thread there. Uh, and what I probably hasn't noticed, if I didn't mention, is there is a little hole in the arm there. Uh, going down the suit, going down the leg. A little bit of scarring. And quite a lot of scarring down this right leg. Uh, a lot of that will get out. What I can't show you with the camera is the order that is coming out of the suit. The suit's been used for track days. I'm not sure if it's been resting, but uh, the previous one has obviously got a little bit sweaty as you get excited and start flinging your bike around. And it's um, pungent. Yeah, nice. Uh, so we'll show you after we've done the initial clean and then again um, after it's been covered. All right, thanks for watching Scrubbers again. Uh, see you on the flip side. Okay, so we're here with Tom Sue on the um, workbench, but I just wanted to show you a couple of things. This suit has got a, a zipping liner, which is great, nice and easy to use, as long as the zips work. But this zip and the leg, absolutely rock solid right at the beginning. And this zip in the right leg, the other one's the left leg, is rock solid right at the end and just cannot be moved. Um, so we're going to have to work on that before we um, obviously get the lining out. Uh, we can clean suits that are with the lining in situ, but it is always best to get them out and do the armour and everything separate. Uh, we'll also be trimming off these uh, loose threads because they can catch in zip teeth and cause the zip to bust. So again, good practice to take them out. And you find them all over the suit. You know, we'll be trimming all these as we go through. The other thing I wanted to show you was um, the build-up that you get in um, the Velcro. This is obviously pubic hair off legs um, as people put the kit on. And you also get it on the arms as well. Again, pubic hair off arms, chest, hair, hair and stuff like that. Okay, a little bit more of an insight. So we're back here again with Tom Soup. Uh, it's had about four hours worth of cleaning work at the moment and a little bit of repair work which took us about half an hour. You can see around here we've tidied up um, where the feathering were, ready for uh, painting. Uh, as we go down the arm, I uh, got rid of a lot of the um, tarmac off the leather. Uh, we've managed to get in Inside the arm, you can see there's a pocket here, so we've got to get inside, inside, and inside the pocket, and um, to do the stitching and do it either sides of this seam, which we've managed to do. So that's all nice and safe now, and we've managed to get a, put actually put two patches inside uh, using two quite different glues, um, just to hold up that um, hole that was in the elbow and then reinforce it as well. Uh, we've also, as you see, cleaned out all the um, Velcro everywhere. Uh, as we move down the suit here, you see down the leg where all the tarmac has um, come off the leg. And also we've applied a balm that gets all the detritus out of the broken fibres like this, uh, the, the leather. Um, if you just leave that in, it's you know diesel, petrol, everything that's inside the suit attacking the fibres and just making it weaker all the time. That's really important on areas such as this, 
um, that have thinned a little bit and we've put a backing on that to make it a bit thicker. Um, I was saying we were struggling with the zips. We managed to get one of the leg zips undone and the other one we just had to bust to get it undone. You can probably tell that by the pliers that were on the workbench earlier. Uh, so, so far uh, it's had a clean and the repairs done and now we need to get on with carrying on with its conditioning prior to its feed and everything. Um, prior to that we'll do the recolouring on the black areas. Tom doesn't want the um, white doing. Um, this is a pearl white and it's a really really hard colour to match um, and we can't we just can't guarantee colour matches. Uh, and he doesn't want this area doing it either. So we're just going to concentrate on the white to show you what we can achieve. Uh, on the black, sorry, to show you what we can achieve. Uh, the other thing I wanted to show you was this. This is a sample of the water that came from the inside, cleaning the inside of Tom's soup. This is a sample from about six litres that just does particularly the inside. Uh, this is what come out. And again, can't sh can't demonstrate the smell, but there's a real strong smell of sweat and urine that's come from the interior of the suit. And as you can see, it's not the nicest colour. Our, our soap on its own would literally dissolve clear, just like water. This is the everything done now on Tom's suit. As we come in closer, you can see it's all nice and clean. All the grubbiness has gone out the arms. Just move in there. Again, so it's easy to see on the white areas. Uh, everywhere around the suit. Recoloured uh, the black areas, as you say, you'll notice the logo and around the top. We can regrain um, we can regrain these areas, but this particular crash is worn through the plastic there and we we can't regrain that. So again, Tom didn't want to go to that sort of expense. Uh, as I explained before, I didn't want the white or the grey areas doing, but we've removed as much of the detractor as we can. We apply a balm that brings out all the petrol and leather, uh, petrol, diesel and oil, everything out of the leather fibres so they don't carry on rotting it before we apply the um, conditioners. All the scarring, as much as we could, come out of the leg. And again, down here, we've got a faint shadow of it there, but most of it out. And again, just where it's gone through the paint top coat down the bottom of the legs. The left leg zip we we got out with a fight with the two pairs of pliers. Uh, the right leg we took the zip out completely and replaced it with a Velcro fastener. Can't undo with one hand. Uh, that just makes it a bit simpler for next time. All told, the suit had five coats of conditioner on the outside, four coats on the inside prior to its feed and its protective coat. Uh, and we took around seven and a half hours to do all the work on the suit. Uh, we can do exactly the same for your leathers, leather jacket, trousers, suit, or your textiles, leathers, uh, textile jacket or suit. Exactly the same work, care and attention goes into each job that we do in our revive services here at scrubbersleathers.co.uk. Hope you've enjoyed it, hope it's been a bit of an insight and we look forward to helping out with your personal motorcycle kit. Thanks very much for watching. Bye bye.